everybody. Welcome. Good morning. I'm Daniel G. Garza, the Car Devo. I'm fixing my breakfast. Welcome to Breakfast with the Comadres here on YouTube. There you go. Uh, here on YouTube. I'm sorry, here on TikTok. If you're watching this on replay on YouTube, then uh, do me a favor, scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and um, hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time there's a new show. Let me throw my oatmeal in the microwave. And breakfast started. Coffee is ready. How's your coffee? Are you ready to start this morning? I like it when people jump in for like a quick second and I, I do it too. I mean I do it too. Jump on a call, jump on, jump on somebody's live for like a second and then if they don't say something you like in the first you know, 10 seconds you're like I'm out of here. I'm done. Like, don't you wish sometimes you could do that with the real people? <laughs> you go up to somebody, you're like, what? It? Nope, it's right. We all have them. We know you do. Um, what's going on in my life that I can tell you about? Uh, I'm going back on stage for uh, comedy. So if you are a stand-up comedy, comedy lover, uh, I'll be back on stage at the Federal Bar in North Hollywood on August 4th. So that's exciting. Uh, I did I did some stuff over 2020. I did go on stage for a couple of times during 2020 and um, have not been on stage. Oh, no, no. I did go on stage as I, I was the uh, opener for a friend of mine and I kind of bombed. It did not go well. Um, but I did it anyway. It was... I mean, it was a learning experience. I'd never opened for somebody. I'd never actually given like that much time. You know, I was always I'm always part of an ensemble thing, so it's it's different environment. It's different. It's a different beast per se. But um, I learned a lot. I le I opened for two days, and I really did learn a lot. So uh, I wish I'd, I'd asked more questions. I wish I'd asked them. Uh, it's the, the Tommy Lama is the name of the comedian that I opened for and I wish I would have asked him more questions about career and, and uh, Victoria, good morning, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días. I'm getting my oatmeal ready. Oatmeal. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the show. I'm... Uh, I'm the Card Devo, and this is Breakfast with the Comadres. I hope you have your breakfast as this is ready. Um, yesterday was a pretty good show. It was pretty good. I'm doing well. You know, I, w I woke up I woke up at 6, and I uh, didn't intend to. I was going to wake up like at 8.30, but I had some t-shirts. Okay, for those of you that, uh, oh, this is the t-shirt for today. Let me put this down. I love kindness and tacos, and it's by a company named um, The Able Fables. Um so, if you like t-shirts, these guys sell these kind of t-shirts. And today is Taco Tuesday, so I had to wear a Taco Tuesday t-shirt. But, um, yeah, I woke up early, did, did two machines full of t-shirts. Yes, that's how many t-shirts I have. I could actually wear a different t-shirt probably every day of the year and not run out. I have a lot of t-shirts. I need to sort them out. They're kind of like, I, they, I get lost with what I have. I know, it's, 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 it's my only... No, okay, it's not my only vice. I do have other things. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. But I, I do love t-shirts, so I, I, I buy t-shirts, a lot of t-shirts. Uh, and then I have my favorites. I have like 250 t-shirts, but then I have my favorites that I wear a lot. So it's good. I know some of you are probably going, oh, Dios mio. I'm like, I know, I know. That and Oracle cards. I buy a lot of Oracle cards. So um, I like cute decks, uh, D-E-C-K, decks, uh, to, to play with, I feel like I had to correct that, but uh, how about, um, while well, my oatmeal cools down a little, for those of you that are new to the show, I am uh, the Cardibo, I'm a card reader, intuitive reader, uh, energy worker, Reiki master, spiritual coach, so if you're looking for some guidance, whether in a reading, in a long-term uh, settings. Thank you. Yes, it's one of my favorites. My uh, my publisher sent me this t-shirt, which is really cool. But if you're looking for private sessions, I also do those. 
message me with your email address and I will send you my times and prices um, for readings. But I love this. I love doing this because it's a good warm up. It's a good. Uh, it help you folks help me stay sharp. Just really good. So validation verification of, of what I tell you is always appreciated so that I know I'm on the right track. So here's how we play. If you are the first one to put in your name and a number from one to nine, you go first. The second person to go is when I, you hear me say oatmeal break, that's your cue to put in your name and an, a number from one to nine. And then that person goes first. There we go. See, Steph knows how to do it. Good morning, Steph. How are you doing? So everybody else, just hold on until I say oatmeal break. And then the first one to do that goes next. Uh, it's kind of a lottery thing, so but stick around. There's a lot of messages that I pop up with, things that pop in my head. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the readings are for more than just one person, and uh, they're not quick. So stick around, enjoy the show. Thank you for watching me. I know there's other TikTokers you could be watching, and you're choosing to spend some time with me, and I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, you got your coffee ready? Uh, where's Steph? There's a couple of steps on today. Welcome, welcome to all the steps, Stephanie's. Steph, Stephanie's 75. And people ask me, why do you ask for a number? Because Stephanie's actually choosing her cards. I've already shuffled these. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Ah, oh, thank you, Steph. Uh, she says I'm, I'm her favorite. This is, this is my, I'm, I'm your favorite dance for the day. <laughs> five, and one, two, three. Do you ever, like, wonder, like, at the end of the day, because I do it, probably, I, probably it's just weird yeah, that I do it, but sometimes at the end of the day, I think of everything that I do on camera, because I'm on camera quite a bit for like different things, and I'm, I wonder, I'm like, good morning, I'm like, do people just think that I'm nuts, and, and that's why they put up with my craziness, because if I saw myself, I'd be like, dude, what is wrong with you, what is in that coffee, nothing is, nothing is in my coffee, this is delicious. All right, let's get going. So, um, Steph, step five. Have I read for you before, Steph? Remind me, remind me. You're on a, you're on a really, uh, <laughs> thank you for laughing at me. Otherwise, I'm like, am I, am I just, married? I have read for you, okay, cool. Because you're on a good track right now. There's a lot of uh, intuition. There's a lot of connecting. Uh, I'm going to start with the third card. For everybody watching, I pulled three cards. One, two, three. And these represent your past, present, and future, or a foundation, now an outcome, or before, now, and after. However you want to break it down for you. And um, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with your after card. Your after card is the all the wishes that are that are starting to, all the wishes that are starting to come true for you. And the reason that some of these things are starting to manifest is one, your third eye. And and here's really here's a really cool combo for you. So for everybody watching, this is a really cool combo. Um, number one, your third eye. Your third eye. Brow chakra, third eye chakra, however you want to call it. This is where we manifest dreams. This is where we set our goals. This is our vision board. This is our manifestation center. Uh, this is where we're calling dreams and goals. So, um, and uh, will my marriage end? And will I have a new man? Girl, that is a lot. Message me for a private session and uh, I'll send you my times and rates. But we can definitely do something like that. Uh, Chris Landa, hold on till you hear me say oatmeal break. And then if you're the first one, then you can go next. Uh, so, Steph, your intuition, your intuition, which is right here, your intuition comes from here, your, your uh, solar plex. It's what calls in intuition is where you make a commitment to yourself. It's where you find joy. So the fact that you're trusting your intuition, the fact that you're believing in yourself and making a commitment to yourself, it's what's allowing you to see... Uh, it's what's allowing you to see that things can start to come true. Like that. Believing in yourself is what's giving you the confidence to go after your dreams and goals. And so, and these are some of these are, are coming true for you. So it's really important for you to stay true to yourself. What happens when we shine our light? People, some There's two groups of people. I say this in the show all the time. There's two groups of people. There's moths and there's roaches. The roaches will, will run from you because your light is too bright and the moths will be attracted to you. So the fact that, uh, Steph, the fact that some people 
are being attracted to you because your light is shining, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. The fact that some people are running away from you, that's a good thing too. It's just a shift in the energy. But in that shift of energy is where you're going to find that some of your wishes are being fulfilled. So, example is, um, wow, thank you, thank you. Am I with my forever person? Um, let's book a session. Let's book a session. Uh, I don't answer particular questions on this show. So if you want, if you have a particular question, please book a session. Um, this is very random. If, if anybody who's new, to, if anybody who's a regular to the show knows that you don't pick what comes, the message just comes for you. So you're welcome. Um, good morning. Buenos dias. So Steph, um, it's keep visioning. Don't let anybody stop that that light for you. It is it is up to you to keep going. Yeah, it's just your spiritual strength. You've got a really good combo of cards right now, so don't let anybody talk you out of what the what you're doing. You've got good spiritual strength. You're focusing on your dreams and goals and you're trusting your intuition. No 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 problem. No sorry needed. I'm just explaining. So please don't no no sorry, no sorry, no sorry. And if you message me privately, I will give you my prices. I do not announce that on uh, videos. But please message me. I, I, no need to be sorry. It's not. I'm not calling you out. Just this is the way that I work. But if you want a reading, please contact me in, in a message. Send me a private message I will, with your email, and I will email you back, and I will give you my prices, and I will tell you all. Uh, I, I just don't do that here. I don't want to take the time for, away from everybody else. So, Steph. Your wishes are coming true, but you've got to stick to your intuition. Keep keep that third eye open and, and, and stick with your spiritual growth. So I don't know if, if you're just looking for validation that you're on the right path. And I'm going to say that you are. Just don't let people... I don't like the word don't. Um, cleanse your energy from people who are trying to stop you. Um, yes, you can ask them a question. As long as it's not a question about your reading, yes, you may. But if you want, if you have, if you want a reading, and it's very specific, this is my work. So um, I just ask for respect for my work. I do this because I, I love check, connecting with you folks. And um, but if you want a specific question, and you're like this, then yeah, I mean definitely book a session, and uh, you you have a whole hour of my attention, and it's all about you. So. Yeah, anyway, Steph, did that make sense to you, Steph? Um, I don't know if you're still there. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. Hmm. Good call, Denise. Good call. <laughs> uh, yes, it did. Okay. Oatmeal break. And why do I say oatmeal break? Because it's when I have my oatmeal. Hmm. Still hot. There you go, Rosalinda. That's how you do it, Chris Landa. Mm. Chris Landa's like, I learned the rules quick. I'm gonna put another I'm gonna put another sugar in my oatmeal today because it's a little Yeah, Chris Landa was so ready. She was like, dude, I am not I'm like mm -mm. Mm-mm, Cardivo, you are not playing those games with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. I think so. I think my I think my readings are worth it. I think I'm pretty good. You don't just um, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very honest with y'all for a second. Not that I'm not before, but I'm gonna be completely honest. My readings, when you come to me for a session, you don't just get a past, present, future kind of reading. You're, you're not just here for like, oh, you're going to find love and everything's going to be awesome. Yay. Pay me. It's it's like, okay, so here's what I see. And here's how you can unblock this. And here's how you can work through this. My, my sessions, because that's the way I was taught, are about growth. I want you to walk away from a card dealer reading feeling energized. Uh, you need it because you was not playing. <laughs> yeah, Chris Lando's like, you oatmeal break. I am there. Uh, but yeah, my, the way that I was taught, my teacher taught me that when you come to me for a reading, I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not guessing 
at what I'm telling you. I'm trying to be as specific as I possibly can, but the idea is to elevate your energy. I want you to walk away better. So for those people that are talking about their exes and their partners, and their, stop worrying about what... Here, okay, here's what I was taught. And I don't want to talk about it because I, I start getting on a soapbox and I don't want to get on a soapbox this morning. But the way that I was taught is that if I'm with a partner, like me with my partner Christian, we've been together nine years, I am not concerned if he's the right person for me. I don't I don't worry about that energy. I am concerned that I am the best person for me. Am I doing the best thing for me? Am I living my full truth? And when I live my full truth, then the right partners are with me. We've been together nine years. We fight. We argue. We also love hanging out together. We laugh at each other. We laugh with each other. We enjoy a lot of the same things. We also don't enjoy a lot of the same things. Like, I don't like action movies, and he doesn't like romantic comedies. So we don't really take... We don't, we don't invite each other to do those things. But my concern is that I am the best version of me so that my partner can see... I'm, I'm off... I, we're not here to take... like. Like, I'm going to take Chris Landa, because Chris Landa's next. Chris Landa is, I'm not here for her to make me happy. We're not dating for her to complete me. Uh, yeah, the self-love and ha self-happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you guys are not here to complete me. You're not here to make me happy. You're not married. Oh, you, I'm so, I'm so much, I'm a better person when you're around me. No, I'm a better person when I'm around me. I am a better person for me, and that's what I'm presenting to you. When I, when I... It took me two years to say yes to Christian. We were, I said we were hanging out. In his head, we were dating already. In my head, we were just hanging out. But it took me two years from the time we met to the time we made it official because I wanted to work on me. Uh, saw you on my, oh, well, I'm so glad you did, Victoria. Welcome, I'm glad you stopped. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you saw my horoscopes. I do, I do horoscopes every Monday. I took a couple of weeks off, but they're back. So if you go to my page, the horoscopes for the week are there and you can catch them. Uh, but yeah, so for those of you asking about, am I, is my partner the right person for me? Is my ex going to come back? Well, have you done any work on you? Have you have, Stop worrying about them. Worry about you. Think about you. Are you the right person for them? Because sometimes you're not. Sometimes we're not. And we keep fighting for something that's not for us. And we keep going after the same thing over and over. Why am I getting hurt? Because it's not for you. It's not for you. And why don't you work on yourself for a little bit? Work on yourself a little bit. Check your chakras. Check where you are. Because when you come out of that, when you come out of working on yourself, you might just discover that that person is not the right person for you. What? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes and, and I've had clients that we start working because they split up or they got a divorce or they moved to a new city, whatever the situation may be. And they're like, hey, I wanna like, I wanna see where my chakras are. This is an amazing way to explain it. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. It's, it's, it's very simple. That's the way it was explained to me. That's the way I was taught. It's, when I broke up with my last boyfriend before Christian, I had to go on a journey of self-discovery. And it, it, it wasn't easy because I had to really realize, and I was new to recovery too. I was about two years into being clean and sober. So it was very awakening to find out that there were there were patterns in my past that I did that would encourage relationships to not function, either sexually or personalities or growth. There, I was very selfish for a long time. I, I, I only thought about myself. And it took some time for me to figure out that the reason that my last boyfriend and I weren't working out wasn't because, okay, so he was cheating too, but it wasn't really the cheating part that destroyed the relationship. I was pretty glad, I was like, whatever, dude. It was the fact that I wasn't invested in it. It wasn't what I wanted. So I would push him away and he was like, hey dude, like, if we're just roommates, then I'm gonna go find a, a partner. And so I had to, I had to like really dig in. I'm like, I don't really like myself. I really don't like myself. And if I don't like myself, I'm not finding much love there. And I had to go in and, and talk to myself and go, dude, who are you? Because remember, I was clean. I, I was just newly clean. So it was a new version of me. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure who I was. I got into a relationship way too quick. So I had to sit down with myself and go, okay, now that you've gone through this transformation, who are you? Who are you now? 
because you're not the fun drinking guy. You're not the, the let's go find drugs guy. You're not like the anonymous sex guy. You're this new person that you didn't know because you're always drunk or high. But now that you're clean and sober, so I had to sit there and look at the mirror and go, now that you're clean and sober, who are you? What, what do you want? What do you want out of a relationship? What What are you offering? What are you offering in a relationship? What are you bringing to the table? What am I, it's, you know, it's potluck time when it comes to relationships. What are you bringing to the potluck of relationships? Oh, that's a good one. What are you bringing to the potluck of relationships? What do you bring? Have you thought, have y'all thought and, and, and yeah, mm. Have you thought about what you bring to the table? My personality, uh, I'm resourceful, resilient. Okay, I'm talking about me. Um, I think I'm funny. I think I'm pretty intuitive. Uh, I'm a good cook. Yeah, what do you bring into the relationship? Because we're always talking about like, what do you bring in? Like, what, do, what is what is C? What is, what makes sense so special? Have you have you asked your partner? Are you happy? Do I? Does this relationship bring you joy? And and this works not just for romantic. I'm about to curl up in a ball in this corner. No, 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 do not do that. And if you do, take a mirror with you so you can talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. This is a really like, I know it's harsh, but because I had to do it too. Like grab a mirror and go, who are you? Like, who are you? But in the most caring, loving way. Sometimes we forget who we are. And sometimes, Sometimes we inherit the traumas, the phobias, and the fears of our parents or our siblings or, or somebody in our, in our circle. We, we, we inherit those by nurturing. Serious, we notice how selfish we can be with our partners. Yeah. I know I can be. I know I can be. And, and Christian will call me out in a second. Like, like, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? And it's usually when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be honest, like, don't tell anybody, but I'm, I'm very greedy with my food. Like, I don't like people touching my food. Do not ask me for a nibble. Don't ask me to taste my food, because I will not share it. <laughs> that is one of the things that is, I've never uh, outgrown of it. <sighs> my skin gets dry and I get these little things. Anyway, um, but I'm very selfish and greedy with my food. I don't, don't I, I will buy you your own meal if you're if you want to try it but i will I, i'm very hard and every once in a while christian has to call me out he's like i just want to taste and i'm like but it's my food <laughs> he's like can i have a drink of your soda uh it's my soda like I, I i asked you if you wanted some you said no so you get but now i've learned like over the years i i've learned that what i bring to the table in that aspect is i will buy two even if he says he doesn't want anything I will buy two and I will have one ready for him. And I'll be like, hey, if you want to try it, I got you some. It's in the fridge or it's in the microwave or whatever. So ask yourself this morning for those people asking about their exes and partners, what are you bringing to the table? What are you, who are you? Who are you in your root chakra, sacral, solar, heart, throat, brow, and your crown? Who are you and what are you bringing to the table? And if you can actually, if you, if you answer those questions and you're like, I'm pretty cool. I, I, I understand who I am. I'm pretty simple. And then you can go to your partner and go, look, this is who I am. Do you want it? Thank you. I, I, it's just the wisdom that was given to me. It was information given to me, and I, I happily share it with you guys. But go to your partner. Stop stop wondering. Go to your partner and go, hey, you know what? I've been some, I've been doing some car devo. Uh, I, I bought some lessons from Cardivo and he walked me through my chakras and this is who I am. This is who I am. Do you like what I bring? Yes or no? Easy. It's, it's an easy answer. Do you like who I am? Do you like me? Do you love me? Do you respect me? If they say yes to those three things, then you're in the right relationship. You're in the right relationship. If they can honestly have an honest relate, a conversation, obviously. But if, if they're like, you know what, I just... There's just so many things that I don't like about you. Then you have to step, step back and go, are those things that I'm willing to compromise? Your damaged goods, I should be nicer to my partner. Okay, before you continue, there's one thing. Okay, there's a couple of things. But there's one thing that my ex actually said to me that has stuck in my brain for the last 12 years that like set me on my way. 
Ready, guys? These are these are my words of wisdom for the day. This is from the Car Devo to you, and I want you to repeat that this when you're alone. I am perfect in my imperfections. Deep breath. I am perfect in my imperfections. And we're going to say it one more time. Take a deep breath. I am perfect in my imperfections. We're not damaged. We're just not, we're not perfect. We're not damaged. We might have issues. We all have issues with baggage. If you're over 17, you should have some baggage. It should be there. It's all good. Anybody who, drama, we all have a little drama. Anybody who tells you, I don't like people with baggage. I don't like people with drama. I don't, I don't like it. Well, none of us, none of us like drama. None of us like baggage, but we all have it. I have plenty of baggage. I, I still do. And we are, we're all a little, we're a little dented. We've been around the block a couple of times. I mean, I'm 50 years old. I've, I've, I've streets named after me now. Like I've, I've not just been around them. They named them after me. And, but I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud that I have issues and I deal with them and I keep working on myself. The problem would be to recognize that we are damaged. I, I will, I'll say what, uh, thank you, I look young. Okay, well, I'm, I'm Hollywood 35. I'm Laguna Beach 50. <laughs> but be proud of your dance. Be proud of the bruises. Be proud that sometimes you get a little triggered by things. It's okay, we all do. We've lived. We're, we're living through a pandemic. That's pretty huge. We're not going to come out of this unscathed. Like, we're going to be a little damaged. It's all, it's all good. Be proud of it. But you need to talk to yourself and go, yeah, maybe sometimes you hog the blankets. Yeah, it's true. Get a bigger blanket. Get two blankets. You know what? Maybe you, maybe sometimes I talk too much. Find somebody that likes to listen. Hi, buddy. How have you been? I've been so good. I've been. Good. We're having a great conversation today. Does that mean you don't love yourself if you've been insecure about your body? Yo, who oh, body issues? Are we going into body issues, uh, Chris Landa? I still, I still need to pull cards for you. So give me a second, Chris Landa. Chris Landa, remind me what number you picked. Um, I most people do not know this. Most people do not know this, but I have an ostomy. Um, so I have an ostomy bag. Three? Okay, I'm gonna pull up for you. So under here, there's an ostomy bag. I don't know if you can see it right there. So I have an ostomy. Girl, let's talk about body issues. I have, I've had an ostomy for five years now. April 1st, 2016. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, five years. On, on April Fool's Day of all days. I got my surgery on April Fool's Day. So I have body issues and, and sometimes I feel insecure. And we went to Hawaii and I didn't want to take my shirt off. And, but I still love myself. I mean, I, it's part of me. I'm just still dealing with it and working through it. But I, I, I found a mentor who also has an ostomy and we talk to each other and he, he gives me guidance. And he, I have a therapist and we work through it. And I have a spiritual, I have a spiritual coach uh, who I go to and, and he reads for me and he sets my chakra straight. And I go to a Reiki master and she helps me. We, we all need, you know, when they talk about a village, it is a village. It's just, we all have a different village that we go to. But I go to therapy, I go to spiritual coach, I go to a live coach, I go to a Reiki master, because um, I want to be able to walk around with my shirt off. No disrespect, can you swing? Like, swing or did you mean swim? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you meant swim, but yes, I do swim. We went to Hawaii and I did, I did swim. Yeah, it doesn't affect anything. It does. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't affect anything. It, it's there's no issue with the ostomy. There's issue with here. My my mind has an issue with it. I think everybody's looking, everybody's staring, everybody's gonna say something. So I avoid it. I avoid it, but I don't want to avoid it. I like like I like swimming. I was a pretty good swimmer before. I'm not like Olympic swimmer or anything, but. Uh, but yeah, no, I can do I can do anything anybody else can do. Um, from here out, I I always like that analogy. From here out, 
I can do anything anybody can do. From here back, I put limits on myself. So that's another good exercise that you can try. Like, um, how, how do you, like, what do you show the world? From here out, what do you show the world? And does that match what's back here? what you show yourself because sometimes we don't how many times do we put up a front on people how many raise your hand if you've been really hurt or you're sad and you're just not in the mood but you show up in an event and you're like I'm fine oh my god no I'm totally fine no red oh no I'm totally fine I didn't sleep all last night no 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 I don't look sad am I sad no I'm fine and people are like girl, yeah girl <laughs> you don't look well and we fool ourselves, but um, but I, I I need to work on that. I need to be better at that. I'm not perfect either. Yeah, people raising their hands. Yeah, classic, right? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, break up. The breakup didn't affect me at all. No, let's party. <laughs> Uh, those are the moments you want mascara that runs, just so you be very dramatic, very novella. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. We we, we want to work on it. So let's go back. Let's go back because I feel like we've been in so many directions. Uh, sip of coffee. By the way, I've got to tell y'all in a minute. Okay, let's do let's do uh, Chris Landa because she's like, where's my cards? I, I was out quick, and now you're like. Landa, are you ready to be Cardibo? Ooh, all right, girl. I like right, girl. So, Chris Landa, first of all, thank you so much for your patience, and thank you for being here, and thank you for watching and waiting. And um, there is a light inside of you. So we we're, we've been talking about this light inside of us, and I feel like the light inside of you is starting to turn on starting to turn on i don't feel like it's completely there i feel like you have i feel like you have your light on a dimmer i feel like like, like you're like i'm gonna turn it just a little bit to see what people think and you're like anybody notice that anybody notice me i'm, I'm a little lighter today i'm a little lighter and people are like i don't i don't see it and then you turn the knob a little bit more you're like i wonder if anybody noticed does anybody notice my light Did anybody notice my light and you're just turning the knob slowly and slowly the reason i feel that this this is a slight increase because there are some disruptions that can happen to you. So it's always people, places, and things. It's always our connection to things. I've been trying to turn it on. Yep. There's always people, places, and things that affect us, either positive or negative. There's always, remember, remember that. Remember that when you're like, there's something going on. It's a person, place, or a thing that's affecting you. You don't venture too, too far. That'll usually find your, you'll usually find your answer right there. In your case, Chris Landa, I feel like there is a people energy that is blocking you. Either you are changing the way that you're thinking, changing the way that you're acting, or changing the way that you do things. So it's, it's like you're changing these, like the, the reason that people around you are like, I'm not noticing the light, but I'm noticing you're a little bit different. Where does that come from? Where is this coming from? Because here's your transformation, and there you're getting your wings. Um, there are people, places, or things stopping you or wanting to stop you from making the changes in your life that you want. A, it's either they're trying to control you. B, they're afraid of their own transformation. Or C, they're not aware you're trying to get over your past. Yeah. So, or C, they're, they're not aware of, of, of your pain. And some people just refuse to see our pain so when we try to change, they don't let us. It's in denial. So these people around you there are denying you the opportunity to to confront. Yeah, especially because you're starting to do a little better. You're going to start to, if you're not already doing better, it's coming to you. So the material stuff is coming to either buying a new, and it's always usually the typicals. It's a car, a house, or, or, or a new job. So this new transformation this change in your path. You are doing better? Good. Yeah, that, that. So as you are growing, so say for instance, you and I are in a relationship. And Chris Landa, you're like, all of a sudden you get a raise at a job. And I'm like, 
well, I don't know why they're giving you a raise. You don't do anything there. And then they promote you. And they're like, I don't know why they promote you. Hey, Kate, good morning. I don't know why they promote you. You don't do nothing. You're not that smart. You're not that pretty. You're not that intelligent. And people just keep knocking you down because one, I am insecure about my own progress. B, I'd rather you be in the misery with me than me try to be happy. Or C, I'm just jealous of you growing without me. So the people, places, and things around you, usually people that are around you are, are, are very insecure about their own growth. So they're trying to make you insecure about yours. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So let's let's work on your light. And right here. The light comes from here. Your 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 intuition. It comes from your gut feeling. It comes from your solar plex. For everybody, I feel like I'm I'm gonna show you the tacos. Let me show you the tacos. It's right here in your your solar plex is right here in your tacos. Uh, but it's right here in your belly. It's right in your belly. So everybody, let's let's do another quick exercise. Take your right hand, just shake it off, shake off extra energy. Take your left hand, shake off the extra energy. I want you to take your right hand, put it on your belly. Just put it on your belly. You can, you can keep your eyes open if you want. Plus, these videos will be on YouTube later. So if you want to watch this again, you can go to my YouTube page. Bio, uh, link is in the bio. You can rewatch this. So I'm going to do this uninterrupted so that you can follow it. So right hand, my belly. Just keep breathing. Left hand over the right hand. Just feel the energy. Feel the energy. And I want you to imagine that you do. In your head, there is a dimmer. And it controls that energy in your belly. It controls that light. Just keep breathing. All right, just stop. And wherever you see that light, it can be very dark, it will be light, it can be bright. I want you to turn it just one, one, one dial up. One. If it's on one, turn it to two. If it's on five, turn it to six. If it's on 10, go to 11. It's your light. You can make it as bright as you want. And as the light is shining brighter, you see your confidence? Do you see it? You forgot it for a little bit. You forgot you were confident. <sighs> Do you see your joy? There's your happiness right there. It didn't go anywhere. It was just hiding in the shadows for a little bit. <sighs> There's your intuition. Trust yourself. You know you better than anybody. <sighs> There's your good feelings. Oh, yeah, I remember when you were brave and courageous and you took chances and you follow your intuition and your instincts. Oh, my God, that was so awesome. And how, you, how you're in touch with yourself. There's you. There's you in all your glory. Just smiling, happy, connected, trusting yourself. Believing in yourself. It's a wonderful thing to do. And all you gotta do is take your right hand, put it on your belly, left hand over the right hand. Keep breathing. Just turn that dial up. Just one. You don't have to do a whole lot. Just one knock. One dial. One one. From zero to one. From five to six. From ten to eleven. Just to make sure that you're okay. You can always turn it down if you want to, but once you see the light, why would you want to? That's the real you. Deep breath. And shake it off. There you go. There you go. Stay connected with yourself. Um, you're, uh, Chris Landa, I think you're going to be amazing. I think you're amazing. Don't don't allow people to put roadblocks in your, in your way. Life is already going to do that for us. I, I guarantee you. Life has a really funny way of putting roadblocks in our way. Not to punish us, not to stop us, to make sure that we can prove ourselves to ourselves, not to anybody else. We don't have to prove, you're not going to prove shit to anybody. It's about proving it to yourself. Proving to yourself that you can do it, Chris Landa. You can take this job, you can get that promotion, you can move on, you can live on your own, you can manage your own things. 
Yes, let's all cheer Chris Londa. Go Chris Londa, you got this. So let that shine, and this is for everybody else too. Let that shine, let that light inside of you shine. So that any disruptions that are in your way, you saw it, you saw it, because you're a flashlight man, you're, you're a beam of light. That disruption from plain police and things in the, in the future, you got this, you got this. Because this is all about transformation and we transform every day. Every day is a transformation. Every day wake up just wanting to be something better for yourself, not for anybody else. People will appreciate you, but you gotta do this for you. This, oh, I wanna be better for my husband. I wanna be better for my kids. No, 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 be better for you. They will learn from you. They will learn from you, but they will also learn how to stand on their own two feet and be resilient. We do, does that make sense? I, we, as we, we compromise, we sacrifice some stuff. We, you know, we agree to things we don't want to sometimes, but in the end, it's about me. I want to be better because when my partner comes to me, I want him to see the best version available. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. That when he comes up and goes, man, that dinner was awesome. I'm like, I know. Daniel, you look really good today. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I, I, I worked hard. I want to make sure that when we go out, I look good next to you. Like, I want, I want, I want to look good. I want you to enjoy the food I made you. Yes, I will watch Star Trek for the 50th time because I know you like it. But, you know, I'm pretty secure of myself. That's not going to change me. Agreeing to that is not going to change me. Not at all. It's going to enhance because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure about I'm pretty sure about Everybody, I'm pretty sure about myself. So, and then once all that happens, um, Chris Landa, all the material stuff will, will come back to you. And protect your circle, Chris Landa. Good. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, Ladybug. Protect your circle, always, always. I wake up in the mornings, and uh, I wake up in the mornings, and I shower. I, I like to shower in the mornings, good early. Uh, today, I woke up at 6 o'clock, did all my laundry. All my laundry, all my t-shirts. I have a lot of t-shirts. Did all my And I get in the shower. I like to shower in the mornings, and um, my usual little mantra to me is I am surround. Okay, ready? Ready? Man, today's a day of lessons. Like, I'm teaching you all my stuff today. Nobody's going to want to pay for my lessons anymore. So I hope you do. I hope you book a session with me. I hope you book a session with me. Um, this is what you get one-on-one. -on -one. This is what you get one-on-one. -on -one. Good morning, Luna. Welcome. Um, so one of my mantras in the morning says, I am surrounded by love, health, abundance, money, and happiness. I even say that three times. So ready? Ready, ready, ready? Okay, ready. We're doing a lot today, man. We're doing a lot today. I am surrounded by love, health, abundance, money, and happiness. I am surrounded by love, health, abundance, money, and happiness. I am surrounded by love, health, abundance, money, and happiness. Let it be. This is not your reading, but you felt amazing. Thank you. Thank you. That is really the intention of having breakfast with the comadres. Or, well, buenos dias, comadres. Um, that is the intention. That is that. That is what makes me feel better. To know that the messages that I was taught, the, the the things that I was taught, that I'm able to show them to you, and 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 then you can be a better person for you. I want you to be a better person for you, not for me, not for me, not for anybody else. For you, I want you to wake up in the mornings and look in the mirror and go, "Dang, look at me! I am awesome! I am awesome!" Like, look at that, my body couple little pounds look at that little pounds those are delicious wrinkles damn those are beautiful wrinkles because I mean I have I have worked for those wrinkles that's right farmers tan I don't even have farmers tan anymore but farmers tan I bust my butt for that farmers tan I don't know why I started talking Texan all of a sudden but good I'm glad I'm glad you got the message you needed Chrislanda because you were quick let's let's not forget that in that second round Chris Linda was like Carza, I am on it. I am on it. 
But if you want to, re if you want to rewatch all this, I will. It's, it's on my YouTube later tonight. It will be on my YouTube. Go to my YouTube. Plus, I need more followers. Could you follow me on YouTube, please? Go to YouTube, and uh, you will watch this video. You can replay it. You can, if it worked for you, please rewatch it. Share it with your friends if you like. Uh, I'm, I, please pass me around. All this loving needs to be passed around. That's what I say. Um, and the accent. Yeah, well, I am from Texas. I, I was born in Mexico, but I was raised in Texas. So every once in a while, I start talking, and things just start sound real Texan, and the, the G's just fall off. But now I live in California, so everything just sounds so much more special. Um, anyway, folks, uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. I actually have a training to get to, so I'm going to go to a class, uh, virtual. But I've got to go to the living room and get set up. I hope today, I know we didn't do a, lot of, a whole lot of readings, but I hope that y'all enjoyed the hour. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. I am here Monday through Fridays at 9 a.m., uh, Pacific Standard Time. So come join me in the mornings. Uh, it's more of this. It's a couple of readings, uh, messages. We let the cards decide what we're going to do. If you're not following me yet, uh, go follow me. And uh, my horoscopes are there for the week. So I just posted my horoscopes for the week yesterday, every Monday. Uh, check them out. Um, otherwise, uh, it's such a great time. Thank you. No, thank you. It's a good time because you folks are here. You guys help make it a great time. Otherwise, I'd just be talking to myself, which I kind of do sometimes anyway. So uh, uh, for those that got read, thank you so much. Uh, tips and uh, are always uh, welcome. Uh, y'all too. Y'all have a great day. Uh, much love. Remember, there's like three exercises here. So if you missed any of it, go back to the YouTube page and, and find them. And, and you can redo them. And I'm gonna, I, I, I'll I'm take the clips and post them here later today too once I get to, time to edit it. But um, anyway... Y'all have a great day. Cheers, comadres. Nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow.